Hello guys, gaming song Exynos just got exciting. Today, we are breaking the barrier between Windows and Android. We are able to run Windows AAA games on our Android phone, powered by Exynos SoC. I'm Tong Liu from the GPU architecture team. As you can see, this phone is powered by Exynos 2400, which is uh, internally known as uh, the M2. So with the help of Box64, Wine, and DXVK, and also the Linux SUMD driver, we are able to run Linux, DirectX, and Walken apps on native Android. So here, just a proof, we are still under native Android. Although the desktop environment looks like Linux, it basically ported to Android. Uh, so this is a Linux Wacken app running on native Android uh, using the Linux Wacken UMD driver. So with the help of Wine and DXVK, we are even able to run a DX11 apps on the Android phone. Oh, uh, next part is our real demo. Yes, you heard it right. It's the Crisis 3 on Exynos SoC. Leveraging Wacken efficiency, this PC-level game runs with stunning visual and smooth performance, and it pushes the mobile games to a new era. So the game already launched. As you can see from the top left corner, it's a DX9 game. It translates to the Walken by DXVK on the fly. And Box64 is responsible for translating the X86 assemblies to the ARM assembly. Es war eine harte Woche, meine Herren, aber Sie müssen noch mal zurück. Ein Sturm zieht auf. Und jetzt heißt es wir. As you can see, Quest 3 runs beautifully at 720p with medium to high graphic settings, delivering a smooth gaming experience. This kind of gaming experience previously only can come from a dedicated gaming console. So look at the, the astonishing visual effect, the particles, the complicated geometry. This kind of uh, graphic, which previously only come from a Windows game. The graphic quality is way above all the mobile games. But now we're right on M2. I also compare performance between M2 and Snapdragon 8. Gene 3. In general, our performance on the Windows AAA games is 10 to 20 percent faster than 8 Gene 3. The Linux Wacken user mode driver ensures the optimal performance by fully utilizing the Exynos GPU hardware capabilities. It bridges the gap between PC gaming expectation and mobile performance. Abseil, los, los, los! Deckung hinter den Panzer suchen! Sechs Ziele nähern sich. Feuern Sie auf alles, was Sie tun. Die Gesichter sind leer. Ich töte Sie. Ausschalten.
also not just one game, Tomb Raider brings its iconic visual and immersive gameplays to the Exynos platform, showing case the versatility of our setup. So the game already launched. This is Tomb Raider. We're loading into this game. This is a classic Tom Raider DX9 game. Man gotta do to get that sort of attention from this setup has way more potentials. We are working in progress to bring up more modern games on our cell phones. By that time, the Exynos SOC can be fully transformed into a gaming console. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation of which all known civilizations were built. Increasingly. And it is long alone, it remains untainted by academic dogma, and open-minded enough to see this truth. So Exynos isn't just a mobile platform, it's a gateway to limitless gaming possibilities. Whether you're exploring Tomb Raider or Crassus, Exynos makes it possible. Uh, thanks for watching this video. There are more AAA games on the way.